Hello Scorpio and welcome to your March 27th through April 2nd weekly reading. Try not to get burned here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rudy. I appreciate y'all being here. If you're returning, thank you so much for your likes and subscribes. And I appreciate all your energy. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates you, with you and then leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs. I need a new piece of Palo Santo. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, feel free to check your moon and rising signs to see if there's more information in those signs for you. If that's what you're looking for. All right. Scorpio, let's see what we have for you the week of March 27th through April 2nd, or whenever you find this, whenever you come across it. Here we go. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Fool. Very interesting. Very interesting. And we have the Knight of Swords. Wow, Scorpio, you're going after it this week. You are going after it. Bottom of the deck energy. We have... Mm, the Nine of Pentacles. Let me put those down because they're heavy. The Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of <clears throat> abundance. It's a card of hard work. Um, hard work and having something to show for it. You know, not, not um, spending everything that you get. You kind of save it. You kind of hoard it away. You, you save it for a rainy day. You know, you save it for when you want to do something with the sun for a new beginning. You have that beautiful transformational energy. Maybe saving it for something you want to um, aspire to be or move up to or something like that. This is just a card. This is subconscious. And it's just a card about telling you it's okay to let go of a little bit of it. To splurge a little bit here and there. You know, maybe take a little vacation or maybe uh, buy that piece of furniture that you've wanted or, you know, give yourself a treat. It's okay to give yourself a treat. It's going to help you grow more and it's going to help you, uh, I think, feel more grounded and more connected to what you are what you are doing as far as uh, for a living to make this money. And again, it's, it's your intuition. Trust your intuition about where it should go or, or what you should do or how you should spend this money and I'm not saying to take everything out of the bank and go for it I'm not saying that at all but treat yourself if there's something you've been eyeing or maybe it's a little pricey you know treat yourself shop around see what, see what you got out there all right we have the seven of pentacles we have the fool and we have the, the knight of swords so we have the seven of pentacles again you have money it's like you are feathering your nest you are figuring out what you want to accomplish in your life you're figuring out what direction you want to go in you're figuring out which direction you want to grow in each one of these pentacles are placed there by you and they have meaning so they could be um you could maybe want a new job you could want a better paying job you could want um maybe to go back to school you maybe want to teach school you maybe want children you don't want children you want a house you know they're all your ideas they're all what you're trying to um to build on right so you're coming up with the ideas again it kind of goes with the high priestess to trust your instincts on it you don't have to look around for approval you know what you want to do. You know what you want to do. You, you're doing it, right? You're doing it. So it's um, so basically this card is like just keep doing what you're doing. Keep the eye on the prize, so to speak. You have the full energy, and this is a card of new beginnings, of of branching out, trusting your instincts. Again, goes beautifully with the high priestess card. You know, trusting your instincts. Listen to you, not them right um, I always see this I know it's a log but I always see this as a scroll like going back to school or maybe teaching or maybe learning or maybe um, getting some degree furthering your knowledge furthering your career furthering yourself it could just be something even on the sidelines that you're doing just for you Some people might think it's foolish. Some people might think you've lost your mind, but you haven't. You have a direction. You have a um, an idea. You have a space that you want to go in, and you're going to implement it. You're taking action on it. The Knight of Swords is definitely an action card. It is a card about going for it, you know, taking action, um, 
heeding the call, moving forward. And I always see this horse is blind and I don't know why. I don't know if it is blind or not. But it's almost like, you know, have blind faith is kind of how I see it. And you are, again, moving forward. You're not waiting for approval. You're not waiting for a nod. You're not waiting for um, friends or relatives or there's people around you. There's, there's um, ideas. There can be chatter around you. But, you know, they're usually on your side. And you're very comfortable where you're at. You're extremely comfortable. You know, you're sitting on either a wolf or a dog right there. And that's, how often do you see that, right? So you're very comfortable where you're at. There's a lot of transformational energy. I almost feel like, you know, coming from a place where you weren't tame, so to speak, where you were kind of out of control, to a place where you found your wings and you could fly, to a place where you could transform and move and be your authentic self and be embody the person you're meant to be right taking on that persona taking on that person all right one more shuffle very interesting scorpio you have to let me know this week how this um works out for you a lot of money a lot of money a lot of uh you know saving money and putting money aside and making money work for you so you can move move into a new direction all right, one more card for you. For Scorpio, March 27th through April 2nd. Can you believe last week in March? Whoa, there we go. Hang on. All right, there was only one, so we'll take it. I love how these, these colors are almost the same. Flexibility. Being flexible, going with the flow. Don't be so rigid. Don't be so... Um, gung-ho as to this is exactly how it has to look you know this is exactly how it has to look i see this like the bird with the you know feathering its nest with the pentacles you know what if one falls he can go pick it up did he plan it no but it happened so you go with the flow right that's kind of how i see the flexibility you need to be able to bend kind of like the willow bend and um bend and give have give you know, have some give to your life. Have some give to your plans. All right, we have the meaning of this card is rich and varied. It cautions, it cautions you to be flexible in your life. Be willing to bend and yield. There are times to stand strong, but there are also times to go around a situation rather than face it head on. This card suggests being um be open to change. It is also a fantastic car card for abundance and prosperity. That's bamboo, though. Uh, um, th this is bamboo in the picture. So, you know, bamboo's lucky. So, I guess that's where that comes in. The name of this card is um, Bamboo in the Wind. Go figure. All right. Let's see. Card is, um, it is fantastic card for abundance and prosperity in the it suggests that if you are flexible, prosperity can and will come your way in all areas. Additionally, it suggests that a time of rapid growth is ahead. Don't resist. The time is right for this surge of spiritual growth to occur. Beautiful. And again, it's finding your path, finding your way, finding the direction you need to go, finding the direction you want to go. Go. You have the growth. You have the potential. You know what you want. You know um you know, it's, it's like you have the means to go after it and you, you have the, the knowledge. Again, you don't have to look elsewhere. You don't have to look outside your box. It's you. You have it all. And you're moving forward in it. You're taking initiative and you're moving forward. You're trusting your instincts. You are trusting your, um, your knowledge, your truth, your path. You know, the, the high priestess is usually seen with the scroll. And that's kind of what I see with that card. It's interesting. Um, she has the knowledge with her, and she could be she or he, but it is high priestess. Um, but the energy is there, the energy of growth, the energy of knowledge, the energy of book-studied knowledge that you can implement into the world now. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like take what, you've, take what you have learned and implement it into what you want to 
grow into or accomplish or move in move forward into all right love to know how this resonates scorpio please let me know um you can give me a comment below i'd appreciate that or you can just give me a thumbs up let me know it resonated it's nice to know i'm talking to somebody on the other side of this camera and that they are listening and getting it so you all take care stay safe and healthy until next week thank you all for watching bye for now